Hey everyone in the world of cloud computing, I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Here are a few news highlights from this week in the fast moving world of cloud computing and thank you all for your support on social media about last week's news. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and colleagues. If you have any cloud news media submissions, please email us at media at nelsonhilliard.com. This week, I had the pleasure of interviewing the number one cloud thought leader, David Limpicum. We discussed many topics about his personal life, career choices, challenges, and life after CTP, following the acquisition by HBE. This is an up close and personal interview who is David Linthicum? The interview will be released at some point next week, and I'd like to thank David for his frankness during the interview, as it certainly wasn't the standard cloud computing interview. This week, an Australian fintech is helping banks fight off eBay and PayPal. Trade Ledger, which is a tech startup, rethinks the way lenders assess cash flow solutions for high growth companies that struggle to find credit and is set to help banks fight off the internet giants such as eBay and PayPal. The fintech startup, which is based in Sydney's Stone and Chalk, is out to challenge a financial business model that has been around for hundreds of years when a credit application is assessed by looking at the assets held by the applicant. Former executive at German tech giant SAP and now Trade Ledger founder Martin McCann said, high growth companies are making up a growing portion of the GDP in every country, including Australia, but bizarrely high growth companies cannot get working capital solutions from any financial institutions, which is nuts, particularly when you consider that around 50% of the private sector workforce is employed by these companies. With the rise of online payment services from multinational tech giants, that gap is fast being filled by integrated merchant advanced facilities. This is pretty much dominated by three companies in Australia, Tyro, which is homegrown, PayPal and eBay. Trade Ledger gives financial institutions the ability to assess credit risk by looking at the supply chain of a business rather than its assets. The world's hottest PC game of 2017 Player Unknown Battlegrounds moves from AWS to Microsoft Azure. The cloud wars continue this week with the PC game Player Unknown Battlegrounds or PUBG is moving from AWS, the 18, million, the 18 billion dollar cloud giant, to Azure. Or is it? Microsoft reported earnings last week and the CEO of Microsoft, Satya Nadella, said Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is now using the Microsoft Azure Cloud platform to power online play. Gaming pushes the boundaries of hardware and software innovation with some of the most CPU and GPU intensive applications and content, giving us a huge opportunity in the cloud. However, looking deeper into the whole story, Satya Nadella's comments didn't mention that PUBG isn't actually leaving the Amazon cloud, as most of the game's databases and back-end services will still run on AWS. It will be just the gameplay that has turned to Azure to strengthen its infrastructure as it copes with a huge influx of players. This week, an Australian artificial intelligence company that detects dealer errors in casinos has just raised $21.5 million. The ASX listed Brainchip will use the funds to push its new capabilities in stock market forecasting, speech and image recognition and autonomous driving. The funds will be used to fuel a marketing and sales push of its products. The new AI system is called Akida and it's based on a neuromorphic chip to mimic a human nervous system which differs from other AI in terms of its processing power and its ability to process information in a similar way to the human brain. Louis Donado, Brainchip's CEO said, the strong support of institutional and sophisticated investors in this capital raising is a solid endorsement of our company and places Brainchip in a very strong position to accelerate the growth of this business. The money raised will help us to expand Brainchip sales and marketing initiatives and secure new design wins 
as well as greatly assist the research and development capabilities, namely the development of the groundbreaking Al-Qaeda Neuromorphic Processor Unit. The market for neuromorphic chips is forecast to be worth 4.8 billion by 2022. Mining organisation CPM has gone live with Sat Leonardo in Australia. CPM is one of the first in the Asia-Pacific Japan regions to roll out the SAP Leonardo platform, which enables the mining firm the integration of cloud technologies such as IoT, AI, machine learning, blockchain, big data and analytics. CITIC Pacific Mining or CPM is wholly owned by the subsidiary of Hong Kong listed CITIC Limited and is currently developing Australia's largest magnetite operation. With a 40 year mine life, it is a big project representing China's largest investment in the Australian resources industry. Launched earlier this year, SAP Leonardo is described by the enterprise software giant as combining the differentiating software capabilities in machine learning, the Internet of Things, Big Data, Analytics and Blockchain all on its SAP Cloud platform. Ray Archimede, GM of Information Services at CPM said, within the resources industry it is the survival of the fittest but being a young player in the iron ore space CPM is able to adopt technology quicker than its larger more risk adverse competitors. This week, an Australian ASX-listed energy tech startup called Buddy Platform raised $23 million. Founded by former Australian Microsoft executive David McLaughlin, the startup went into a trading halt on Friday, then announced Monday that 115 million ordinary shares would be issued at 20 cents per share. The company's stock closed 24 cents at the close of trade. The company revealed 90% of the new money came from institutional investors. Buddy first hit the headlines in March for the launch of its flagship product, which connected sensors and devices installed in commercial buildings to monitor, analyze, manage and reduce energy use. David McLaughlin said, We've always been clear that it would take only a truly exceptional opportunity for us to return to the capital markets for additional funding. We are incredibly happy with the overwhelming support that Buddy has received from what is an extraordinary roster of some of the region's top institutional investors with this placement. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, Cloud Computing Recruitment Specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. And I hope you enjoyed watching this week's Cloud Computing News. Remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. And you can also connect with me on LinkedIn and find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure. And remember to watch out for the exclusive David Linthicum interview. Who is David Linthicum?